my music is usually very much about a place or a situation. So if I travel and make recordings, yes, very often I will uh, create pieces from that. Um, but it's not necessarily. It could be about a situation, um, about a political situation, an environmental situation as well. Sometimes I have a very clear idea and I go out recording for the composition. Um, in the early days, I used to just go out and record and then I would make a piece. Um, if I was excited by the recordings or by the um, situation that I had recorded. So it depends. Um, now that I've, I have hundreds of recordings, um, often I will not just record, I will go out specifically for a piece. Um, I take a very simple approach. I will have, uh, uh, in the early days I had analog recorders. Now I have a zoom recorder. Um, with just a normal zoom microphone and um, I simply go out and move around in a way like a, uh, like a moving ear. The microphone is a moving ear. Um, so I will be recording something and if I hear something the microphone will be directed towards what I hear. I may bring it very close to the sound. Say, say it's a river sound, water. Um, I might want to move very, very close into the specific water sounds um, or I may want to get a further away perspective of the river. It depends a lot on, uh, uh, on what, I, what I would like to get for a specific composition or what I'm hearing at the moment and what attracts me. I uh, was in India to um, give a workshop on soundscape and listening. And so when I was in India, I had no idea what I would do with it. I simply recorded all the exciting sounds in India. There, there was so much. <laughs> and then I brought them back and it took me some years to try to uh, decide what to do with those pieces. And Into the Labyrinth was very much a piece about the um, memory of how, to, how traveling works in India. And uh, to me, India was very much like a labyrinth. And you might have a destination, but you would never quite know how you would get there. There would be always a lot of things happening on the way, and you would be very happy when you arrived at the destination, but you would not know what was going to happen during the trip. I, I will... Um, usually select sounds that have the strongest experience and memory from the trip and select them and um, will, if they are very close up recordings, I might use them like a sound object and do some processing in order to get some musical materials that would reflect the atmosphere of the trip. And um, I usually mix the straight field recordings, unchanged, with the changed sounds. And uh, very much that is my approach, that I will want the listener to know where we are, I will want the listener to understand the sounds that they're listening to, but will want to um, cre create a, a more abstract musical atmosphere around those real sounds at the same time. So I like to walk that edge between the real and the imagined sounds. Uh, really what I like to communicate uh, to, to the audience is to um, how your ear gets drawn into anything. So if my compositions can peop draw people's ears into the compositions, then I think it's a successful piece. What they actually think of it in terms of uh, whether they agree with the content, whether they like the musical, uh, content or so it doesn't really matter to me. It is more like, have they listened? Because I feel very passionate about um, learning how to listen and what kind of listener we are in the world. Because to me that is an environmental question. How uh, deeply are we engaged through our ears with the world?